Ah, greetings, bleepers. How the devil are you? So you find me in the car because it's getting a bit blustery and windy, windy out there. I think that it's going to, yeah, it's raining as well, um, which is great. But I can see that the clouds are moving and I think that we're going to have sunshine too. I think it's only a shower, so I'm not going to be too concerned about that. Right, so I'm still trying to get on top of this um, algorithm malarkey. Um, so, uh, yeah, so what I need to do with you guys who are watching this video, it doesn't really matter if you're watching this video because you were most likely to already have done this, hence why you're watching the video. Um, and I don't wanna, uh, that kind of like whole smash the subscribe button and hit the bell and smash the bell. I need a word. Dear, dear ladies and gentlemen, um, my viewers, I, I would greatly appreciate it if you were to participate in interacting with the bell icon so you will see more lovely content and which will entertain your faces. Does that work? <laughs> That's better than smash the bell icon, isn't it? Anyway, in all seriousness, um, the little bell icon, just click it to all and then you'll get everything. I'm pretty sure it's because I've been messing with the algorithms. Um, but anyway, anyway, it's, uh, it's, it's bloody alchemy. <laughs> anyway, anyway, to the drop at hand. Uh, I've got another hunt on this field before it's seeded and cultivated, cultivated and seeded. I might be able to get on it again when it's cultivated. Uh, so I'm going to get out there because last the last hunt wasn't bad at all um, with that weird witchcrafty thing. Um, and I think that there's going to be more out there. So it's just, well, I can't just crack on because of the blooming weather. I'm going to wait and then I'm going to crack on. Woo! Aha! And I do believe we have a bust here, and it's it's a George II, isn't it? But it feels like silver. It's like a George II love token, or is it just completely worn? Ah, oh, yeah, man, look, I can see. Is it a second? He's looking that way, or is it the third? I should know this stuff by now. How many years has it been? It's simple things to remember. Oops. Yeah, I think I think I could just see it says probably did say George's. That's been scratched, man. That's a love token. Look, can you see the the way that's worn up there? That's a love token all day long. Look, that they've been very thorough on that side, indeed. Oh man, that is cool. That is cool. That's a nice little thing. That is actually. I like that. I love the way they just loved her a little bit, though. Because they didn't do a very, they didn't completely get rid of his head, did they? <laughs> and that's just a button there, and I've got a. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to have to do what I normally do on this field, and that's just to agree to myself that I'm not going to film any buttons because it, there will be loads. There will be loads of them, tons of them. There's just tons of them. Strange field. Uh, so that'll be the last one you see without any kind of definition or anything interesting on it, if you will. Ah, alas, that is uh, but a coin of nothingness, and that's. Something that this uh, field is also notorious for, unfortunately. It's notorious for killing coins. Yay. Well, check out this little buckle. If it is a buckle, it could even be a brooch or something. I think it is a buckle, but is that is that the pin still? Or is it just ridiculously thin there? I think that's the pin. I don't want to be messing around with that too much. That is gorgeous. Never had one like that before. If anybody knows the uh, time period, I'm guessing medieval. Let's quickly clean it up. Now, unfortunately, there's no markings on it. But it's certainly got some age. That's a, that's a little beauty, that is. I've fallen in love with you, chap. 
Oh, could be Viking. Something around the side there. Nice. Like that a lot, I do. Cool. Well, that was a musket ball at first. Probably still is, actually. But it seems to have a well-defined cross on it. Can you see? Maybe. Um, down at some depth, that was. But it's definitely hit something, isn't it? Okay, cool. Well, we do have another button of... Uh, I say another button, not from today, but in the past I've also had a navel button. Can you just see the anchor on that? One sec. Just make it out before it dries. So I reckon there was like some sort of naval camp up here or training going on. Just see it there in the background, can't you? Interesting. Now this is only a button, but it's an absolute stunner. And it's still got the gold guild in it. Look at that! Good Lord, man! That is an absolute beauty! Oh, is it an anchor again? Hold on one sec. Ah, yeah, I see what's going on. It's an an it's anchors. Two, two crossed anchors. Do you see? What a lovely little design that is. I've never had one like that before. Two crossed anchors. And I might be able to get some sort of uh try and figure out what the hell that means and what age that has. That is a little beauty, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. That is. Right next to that other one, by the way. It's another hammered coin turned into a love token. Unbelievable. That's like a hammered love token hoard. That is so unfair. You know, I'm saying another because um, I found two in that last video, didn't I? Oh, come on! Hammered love token, gutted! <laughs> yeah, I'm not so sure what that is. I think it's lead again. Very odd. I do get a lot of odd stuff. Well, you know, if you watch that last video, you'll see some of the really peculiar odd things, that, lead things that I've been finding up there. But yeah, that's just, uh, just another one. We'll be that then. Lead washer, or has a similar application as that, perhaps? Hmm? And there you go. Look, that's uh, possibly another musket that's hitting its target. Pow! Awesome. Hmm, this could be semi-interesting. What be you? Poke this through together, shall we? At the same time. Oh no. Oops, sorry. Is it in frame, you fool? No, I think it's just a. Uh... Nah, no. Now, I do believe this is probably something which is uh, it's a slightly World War II bombish. Yeah, yeah. This went bang in a big way. It's still got all the cordite in it as well. Well, not all the cordite, but quite a bit of cordite. Has this still got the timer thing on it? Holy moly. Oh, that's quite impressive. One sec. Yep, that indeed was once a uh, World War II bombage. Chunky old bit of metal that is. Ah, and a little uh, World War II bullet there. Hello fella. Nice. Alright, uh, I think this is going to be a coin or button of nothingness, just out of the clod there. Yeah, it's just a given, isn't it? Well, it is a given if you come on this field with me. Yeah, nothing there. Brrr, it was a coin. No, it wasn't a button. Such a shame. Actually, I'll take that back. Just about to turn the camera off and put that in my pocket, and I do just about see a bust there. Perhaps a female bust, perhaps a Victoria. Not sure. Just about to see it, yeah. Ah. But right next to that coin, I thought, oh, there's another coin, and at my dismay, it was actually a, a, a button, as you can see there, but check this out. It's a sink ports button, look at that. Oh, wow. That is an absolute beauty. God. Bend that back, one sec. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a sink ports button, and you won't find many of them around the rest of the country. Uh, just pretty much in this area. Interesting story behind the sink ports. 
Oh, that is lovely, isn't it? That is an absolute little peach. <laughs> I'm well happy with that. That's a beauty. <laughs> I haven't done bad for buttons today, have I? After bemoaning them right at the, min uh, at the beginning. <laughs> oh, that's a modern 10 there. <laughs> I think I might be cheeky and love that in the old to gold fund. Technically, it is a, a stranger's change, isn't it? Bizarre, kind of bizarre. Okay, cool. Well, there seems to be uh, a lot coming up in this little area. I think there might be a little camp here or something, but I've just found a, a surface sitter. This might turn out to be interesting. That bit there was in the mud, as you can see, and the top, as you can see, was uh, extremely dry. Let's have a look what this is, shall we? What are you? Is it a sixpence? I think it might be a sixpence. Hmm. Light rub. Ooh. Maybe not. It looks like it's got sink ports on it again. Again, let me just uh, clean this up nicely with a toothbrush and I'll get back to you. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, nice. There you go, that side. Very nice. Good condition. Look what it is. It's another bull head. Yes. Oh, man. And it's in such good condition. I found another one just over there. Uh, not so long ago, I gave it to my farmer. And this is another one. I've forgotten what they are, they're six pence here, I, I can't remember. Let me see if I can get a date off of this. Well, I can't find a date, but it's a George III, it's a bullhead, as you can see. Uh, so it's gonna be early 1800s, about, around about, I think the last one I had was 1818, actually, uh, thinking about it. Same area, sitting on the surface. What a lovely little coin that is. That is a beauty, that really is. I'm well chuffed with that. And I do really believe that I found a camp of some sort here. So I'll be staying around this area for a bit. That is lovely, isn't it? That's odd. Hmm. Very strange. Little ne lead nipple. Ha! Hmm, weird, man. That's age, that's got some oldness to it. Got some oldness. It's bizarre, actually. Mm. Okay. Well, yeah, then this is my last target. And it's a uh, mystery clod. A clod full of mystery, as you can see. Mystery clod, mystery clod. No, nope, no, nope, nothing there. Oh, it's exciting. Okay, we got it. It is, uh, it's now just, oh, it's round. What's the chances? It's going to be a button, isn't it? gonna be a blooming button I can see it's concaved oh no oh it's a ring not a ring ring though I don't think ring ring that's interesting though isn't it, it could be an old old ring that yeah. I doubt it though doesn't seem like the right shape it seems too flat to me put a wash apart or something maybe not hundred percent uh, if I clean it up and find anything, I'll get back to you. And get myself in order and get all my stuff back on. There you go. Okay, so, um, yeah, so that wasn't bad, was it? A lovely bullhead. Um, another one, which is George, the someone will tell me in the comments, because you guys are so clever. Um, and those navel buttons. It's so weird that that one area, I, I think there's a camp there. I think there's a camp there. Or, I mean, back in the day, you know, back you know, a couple of hundred years ago, you know, the Navy dudes, you know, out on the sea for a long time together, John Fitzgerald and Gerald Fitzjohn and all that. Um, anyway, um, so that was good. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be a bit lost for content now, from now on, unfortunately. Sorry about the, the, the camera, you might have noticed the camera's a bit weird in that one, because this camera's got a, the little plastic bits got stuck there, so I pulled it down, got stuck again, even worse now. So now I've got a few things that are wrong with this camera, but it still seems to be working okay. Anyway, thank you for watching my friends, <laughs> and I shall see you in the next video.